Okay, so now you have a uh, figure two shows the top view of a U-turn at a road divider. The radius of the circular curve is a uh, 5.3 meter. A uh, 950 kilogram car maintains a speed of uh, 15.3 meter per second along A to C. Copy the path and uh, indicate the direction of velocity and acceleration of the car at point B. Okay, so um, so the person is uh, going from A to C, yeah, A to C. So I want to draw what I want to draw. Uh, the the person asked this question asks us to draw the direction of velocity and acceleration at b so okay so going from a to c so what is the direction of velocity what is the direction of velocity so it should be this way right velocity uh, going downward tangential and then acceleration is uh, this way uh, this is the centripetal acceleration because uh, where is the center the center actually is over here, this is the center, right? Correct or not? Correct. Yes, ah, very yes, good. Sir. Yeah. Ah, center is over here. Yeah. So centripetal acceleration is uh, towards the center of circle. Okay. And they are always these two are always ninety degree. Yeah. Velocity and centripetal acceleration always ninety degree. Okay. So now, uh, B. What is the centripetal acceleration of the car at point B? So, um, okay, so what we just use the formula, just use the formula. So question B, centripetal acceleration is, uh, I have the speed, you see that? I have the speed, uh, this, so this is uh, V, lah, v, I can use V squared over R. So, okay, so V is, uh, you know, 15.3 uh, square and then uh, over R, R is uh, 5.3. Okay, so let's calculate. What do you get? 15.3 square divided by 5.3. So I got um, uh, 44.1 uh, seven meter per sec meter per second square. Okay, all right. Understand? Uh, where is okay? Oops. Okay. Now, uh, how about the cent centripetal force? How about the centripetal force? Centripetal force. Um. Okay. Please. Uh. Calculate the centripetal force. Also. Uh. Centripetal force. Question C. Okay. Uh. Question C. Yeah. Question C. So centripetal force is Fc equal to mac, right? Uh, so I have the mass. I have the mass is uh, 950 kilogram. Uh, 950 kilogram, and then multiply by centripetal acceleration is uh, 44.17. Okay, let's calculate. 950 multiply 44.17. So it is um. Uh, Four point uh, two four point two zero exponent. Uh, if too big, uh, you put exponent exponent four Newton, All right? Four point two exponent four Newton. Good. Now, question D What's the direction? What's the magnitude and direction of the frictional force of the car at point B? Uh, what do you think? The frictional force should be the centripetal force, right? Correct or not? Correct. Uh, because frictional force provide the centripetal force. If the if the road doesn't have any frictional force, you it doesn't provide centripetal force for the car to make a turning. Uh, then the car cannot turn if no friction on the road. Uh, a road must have friction in order for the car to turn. You know, any 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 U turn, any the road must have enough friction. Uh, okay. Uh, why the road is not made of plastic or made of glass? Yeah. You know, why the road is made of uh, such a rough surface? Why is made of stone? Rough surface. Why cannot made of grass or what? Uh, because we need friction. 
Yeah, we need friction. Uh, why the why the car tire is made of rubber instead of just a metal piece or wood? Yeah, uh, because rubber give a lot of friction. Uh, yeah, the rubber of the car tire the car tire give a lot of friction, and friction is needed for grip. You know, for grip for centripetal force to make a turning and and so on. Okay, All right, blah blah blah. Okay, so the uh so the the you know the the resultant force the resultant force is actually the centripetal force you know which is also mac uh so we already got the centripetal force okay our friction uh, our friction is the resultant force our friction uh, the is actually static friction yeah because the car doesn't slide yeah it's not sliding yeah <laughs> The car is uh, going safe, safely, going safely. So it's still static friction. The car still have grip on the road. Yeah, the car still have grip on the road. So it's still static friction. Yeah, when you lose grip, start to slide, uh, then it's kinetic friction. This one is static friction because the car still have grip on the road. Okay, so it's centripetal force. You you understand what I'm talking about? You understand what I'm talking yes. about? Yes. yes yeah all of this i explained before lah, yeah about the grip about the sliding kinetic friction static friction i explained before yeah so in my previous lesson okay so that's the answer and direction oh don't forget the direction the question mentioned about direction so don't forget if you didn't give the direction then you lose marks yeah lose one mark so direction is of course, same direction as the centripetal acceleration. Uh, FC is the same direction as AC. You know? You know this one? Uh, FC, same direction as AC. AC go what direction? FC also go what direction? And FC direction is the same direction as friction direction. Uh, you know? So, centripetal force has the same direction with as uh, centripetal acceleration so direction is to the right uh, to the right to the right okay towards the center uh, that's it okay that's it for question 7 okay I think alright so I think that's all for uh, today class yeah just uh, alright